Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you choose to share a private folder in your mailbox system with a user to whom you have granted permission to access the folder, you can easily send them a link via email. To do this, make sure that your folder list is displayed and then create a new email message and address it to the person with whom you want to share the folder but don't send it yet. Once you've addressed the email and given it a subject and any additional text, then you just need to take the private folder from the folder list and click and drag it into the message and release it in the body of the message to create it as an attachment to the email. You can do this by clicking on it in the list, but notice the email now goes down to the Windows taskbar. Keep your mouse button held down and drag it down and hold it over the message in the Windows taskbar until it appears again roll right back into the message and let it go finally. That'll insert it as an attachment. At that point you can just click send to send it to the recipient. So if you're the recipient of a shared private folder shortcut you'll need to be able to open and save the shortcut to the private folder that you've received. To someone else's private folder will appear as an attachment in the email that they send you. So here we can see the recipient of the email. They will see the attachment, which they can double click to open it. It'll give the, you the opening mail attachment dialog box where you can either open it or save it to disk. If you choose open it and click OK, then that folder's contents will display in a new window. However, you would have to open up the email and double click the attachment to open it every time you wanted to post a new item to that folder. That can be a pain. Your other option is to save it to a folder on your computer. So if you double click it, you could choose save it to disk and then click OK. You'll have to save it using the Save As dialog box to whatever folder you'd like and you can give it the file name and just click Save. Once it's saved, wherever you wish to save it, you can double click it at any time to view the contents of the shared folder. So we just saved this to the My Documents folder. We can access My Documents by clicking Other Shortcuts and clicking the My Documents icon. So in the main Outlook window, we'll see the contents of My Documents. There, you just scroll through looking for the file that you just saved. And once you find it, you can double click it to open it in the future. So you don't have to open up the email and double click the attachment each time. However, you always have to navigate to the shortcut in the folder on your computer's file system to open it, which isn't really ideal either. So to make it easier, you can just create a shortcut to the folder in your Outlook bar. Click in the section where you'd like to place the shortcut. Make sure you can see the item that you've saved to your file system and then just click and drag the item and drop it in the Outlook bar to create a shortcut. Then in the future when you want to access that information, click the shortcut to have the shared private folder open up in its own window where you can go in and post your information or put in tasks or calendar notes or whatever. Notice that they always open up in their own window so that when you close them out, you don't close out Outlook. Now, the shortcut to the other person's folder that exists in your file system can be deleted in the future. If you want to get rid of the shortcut in your Outlook bar, right-click the shortcut and select Remove from Outlook bar and just so say Yes to the command that pops up. Also, you'll need to navigate through the Windows system back to the actual saved file, and you can delete that as well.
you'll have to say yes to send it to the recycle bin. Remember, this isn't actually in Outlook, this is in Windows. So then you can delete it later on by emptying your recycle bin. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.